Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for the collective. So any and all zodiac signs. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and get a message for the collective. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Three of Cups. Awesome. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords. Interesting. All right. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is here. So there is some really big offer, tangible offer, new things coming forward towards you. Two aces and a spread is really, 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 really good. So a lot of you have a lot of new things coming forward towards you, new trips, new new jobs, new hobbies, new relationships, okay? So I do feel like the last two months of this year are going to be really abundant for a lot of you. And then look at that, the Six of Wands. So Six of Wands is victory. It's victory after some type of journey, some type of battle, some type of hard event that could have been tied to disappointments, tied to someone stifling or trying to put roadblocks towards your new beginning towards your life moving forward or you know someone just disappointing you however it may resonate uh the six of wands is here so you are seeing some type of victory we also have the hermit here so i do feel like a lot of you have been in hermit mode not really hanging out with people as much or hanging out with you know groups of people i feel like you're kind of just in a space where you are focusing on yourself focusing on what you're needing to do that kind of thing and as you're doing that it's actually like ending a lot of things that are that are not meant for you okay the death card is symbolic and it's just like the people that you may have withdrawn from especially tied to virgo season i feel like you're in a space where again you're gonna kind of keep seeing that these people or this group, or this job, or this city never really align with you anyway, okay? So a lot of big changes are coming, okay? Yeah, the magician reverse. So there could have been a lot of manipulation, a lot of energy manipulation, okay? The death card and the magician reverse. Hmm. I feel like someone wanted to manipulate your energy so that you would stay with them or stay being friends with them or stay trapped in a situation. So say for some of you, there's a conflict and someone wants you to keep going in that cycle and cycle and cycle and over and over that kind of thing. And I feel like a lot of you have just been like in the hermit mode, like in the six of wands, just focusing on what you're doing and kind of just like, even if you couldn't just like end the issue, you're still like two, two swords. Like, I don't care what the heck is going on, you know, and you're moving on and you're kind of allowing people to make their own drama, allowing people or situations to make their own mess while you have been planning to move forward. So two of wands, I feel like a lot of people, especially on the internet or especially with your job, whatever you do, I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, wait, how did, <laughs> how did Collective do all this and do all that and do all that? And we're still all in the same place. Like, there's something about that where even though you had a lot going on or could have had a lot going on tied to some disappointing situation, people, friends, co-workers, people working against you, whatever the case may be, again, I feel like they're going to kind of like look and be like, wait, how is Collective doing all these things? And we've had the same 24 hours. <laughs> Eight of Wands and the Queen or King of Cups, your energy here. You have listened to your intuition. I feel like when your intuition says stop, you're stopping. You know, the intuition says don't go here, you don't go here. The intuition says, hey, that's not your friend, that's not your friend. Intuition says, hey, don't, don't, you know, engage in conflict with this person who's trying to engage in conflict with you and you just don't. So I just feel like you're mastering yourself and mastering your intuition. Now, the Ace of Wands is here. So again, a lot of you are starting something new, something very passionate here. Now, as you're starting something new, the page of swords reverse. So someone's looking into something, 
Someone trying to investigate something. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. So there could be some type of um, family matter, wealth, marriage, contract, work contract. That's all things Ten of Pentacles um, that someone may be looking into or you may be looking into. Let's see why. The Emperor. So there's a masculine energy that may be trying to figure out what are they trying to figure out and who is this person? Okay. King or Queen of Wands reverse and the Emperor or Empress reverse. I mean, Emperor, Emperor or Empress energy. So this is showing up as a masculine, but it could be literally any, any gender. This person is trying to, what are they trying to do though? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. So this person is being patient. So it's like your, your life is moving on. You're doing new things. You're exp expanding. Okay. I'm hearing, I was trying to say aspiring for more. And this masculine energy could be somebody, an ex, could be a friend or a boss, somebody, somebody in your family. They're just disappointed. So I feel like this person is looking into the blessings that you're having looking at you, maybe looking at your social media, whatever they're doing. And I feel like this person's like, <laughs> seven of pentacles, the five of cups, like what is going on? This person feels like you should be where they are and they should be where you are right now. And this person just seeing you aspire for more and just achieve more and good things coming towards you. They feel like you're financially stable with that 10 of pentacles here. And they're just like, they're just watching you from afar. And I also feel like this is someone who's very stubborn and someone who's trying to just fight you every along every way. This is a very immature person and someone that maybe, you know, especially if this is an ex-friend or, you know, a family member you don't get along with or an ex. It's just like they have never gotten to a point where where they feel like you deserve their kindness. Okay. Um five of pentacles reverse though. I feel like the situation progressively gets better. Why is this person all disappointed? What is going on with this person? Wheel of Fortune reverse. So this person feels like they're receiving bad karma. They feel like all these things, bad things are happening to them um, post your friendship, relationship, contract, marriage, whatever with, with you. Exactly. This person deep down, the lovers reverse, high priestess reverse, feels that they were not trusting their intuition. Okay, for some of you guys, they feel that they should have done right by you or done the right thing when they were with you or when they were friends with you or when they worked with you. This person feels financially impacted, which is why they're like looking at you from like the outside looking in like, whoa, how are you appearing to be stable? How are you stable? How are you having support? And this person is showing up as a king or queen of cups reverse, somebody who's very emotionally immature, especially when it comes to not having control of you or control of your outcome or control of money that you're that you make or money that they owe you or whatever the case is okay so this person feels like they're getting some type of bad karma and i feel like as their life kind of i don't know if it's starting to or if it already has been descending um you're just moving forward and you're not blocked at all from your from the things that are owed to you. Now, further clarifying this Wheel of Fortune reverse is the King of Pentacles reverse. This person is having some type of financial issues or stability issues or work issues. And they're having, they're trying really hard to, a stream card, like they're trying really hard to hide this or to make it seem like nothing is happening with them. But yeah, they're hiding a lot. So I feel like something is going on with that. Let's see. Yeah, this person's very drained, emotionally drained, financially drained. If this person stops trying to fight you, stop trying to put you in competition, stop trying to be aggressive with you, it's because they have some type of like major financial issue going on or stability issue, okay? That king or queen of pentacles reverse, will of fortune reverse. They feel like their opportunities are taken, okay? The moon is here. So I feel like there's something that will be revealed about this person and what is actually going on with them very soon. Let's clarify the moon. Let's actually use these other cards. Yeah, four wands. Wow. So this person, 
this person could be going through a lot with their again their like home life their family life their contracts their business that kind of thing okay four of wands reverse is an unstable home or it's a breakup or it's an unstable something um very unstable so this person has a lot going on right now so let's look into that but thank you for hitting the like button what's going on with this four of wands reverse i feel like you're gonna figure something out or get news of something four of wands reverse okay so we have the book, the book presages the discovery of a mystery affecting the person for the better. Okay, so this information helps you. <clears throat> the railroad forecasts a long journey if near 44, accident if near 29, robbery. We don't have that so far. Thirty-eight flames on the earth, the hearth indicate good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near lying, near lying, un unlucky cards. Sorry, guys, my brain, and increases the value of lucky ones. So again, it seems like, oh my goodness, it seems like something's like reversed for this person, based on like whatever they did to you. So it's got like almost like the floodgates are like. <laughs> open of like blessings for you but for this person it's just like the reverse Whoa. <sighs> the ring one to the right of a person is an unerring indication of rich and happy marriage the lying to the left disappointment and love so i even feel like your love life's about to start ascending as well if it's not already we have the broken glass foretells ill luck for long years if near, but if distant death of a friend. So this is clarifying the King of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, this person is having some type of, whoa, really bad luck. And then let's clarify. Okay. And then 33. The clover leaf is a bearer of good tidings, but near clouds denotes great chagrin. <laughs> Shagrin. Okay. Duh. Number two does not lie near 29 or 28. Okay. So basically, this is what I'm getting. Good things are happening to you as far as information about this person, information about however this four of wands, you know, could be helpful for you as far as information goes, because you're going to be able to utilize whatever is happening to further protect yourself or protect however you're connected to this person okay i also feel like you're gonna be so far gone and so far removed from this person and there's some type of protections there as well yeah because this person's gonna it's like as as the rest of the year goes on okay as the rest of the year goes on, the next eight weeks, you're going to see this person lose more and more and more ability to speak up or to to fight or to um, have conflict or to whatever the case is. They're going to keep like for a lot of you, this person's like in some type of debt or basically something that they didn't think was going to be seen is seen. OK, it could be it could have to do with information information and also some type of relationship or partnership that they're in with the lovers page of wands <clears throat> yeah we have the empress hierophant yeah so there's some type of contract or relationship that this person's in and this is exactly what's going to be highlighted okay in the next eight weeks now what's going on because again we do have this broken glass here uh which foretells ill luck for long years so what is going on with this Knight of Wands reverse. I mean, Knight of Wands. So I feel like these people are making it seem like things are just lighthearted, airy, great. 
this could be somebody that again they do business with or somebody that they're with romantically that kind of thing but really the six of pentacles is here in the reverse so <laughs> really there's some type of imbalance that's going on whoever this person is with they're showing up as a queen or king of swords reverse they are a very aggressive person aggressive controlling and balanced person this masculine energy could feel like they're giving more to this person than this than the person they're with or dating or working with is giving to them and i feel like with the chariot here hmm, this is interesting with the chariot here, the truth about this dynamic, about their relationship is going to be revealed, but in a really, really bad way. Yeah. The hang one and the queen of wands reverse. Some, this, <laughs> this third party person is like plotting something against this masculine right now. Okay. That's, and that could be why we have that three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Because for you, you're good. You're about to celebrate. You're walking into all these good things. You're further protected from this person, conflicts, all this stuff is just closing out. And then for this person and whoever they're working with or whoever they're with romantically, it's like things are, are falling apart based on really what they have been doing energetically. Um, let's clear. What is, what is this queen of wands plotting and planning? <laughs> extra joker see look at that the snake the snake indicates an enmity sorry these cards are like so weird as how they're types but anyway and calamities the degree of which is governed by the distance of the card from the person like i said this person's a snake so they're planning something the eighth or the 13th could be important okay um, they're plan they are planning something. I mean, that's the snake card. Like, but what are they planning? The tower surrounded by clouds denotes sickness and if adjoining. Okay. So this person's planning on, hmm, we don't have to go super dramatic with this, but what they're planning to do is getting this person where it hurts them. So if this is someone who's really worried, this masculine is really worried about their finances, whoever, or their stability or control over this person or control over a situation, this person is about to basically plot and plan in order to um, make things harder for them, but they're doing it on purpose, okay? The letter is a sign of good tidings when near and when touching indicates unexpected, unexpected good fortune. So there's some type of documentation or letter or something that this, this feminine energy is planning to do in order to like get back at this person. It's something like, I feel again, like financially or control wise, something that they've been like plotting in case this person was going to do something to them. For some of you, this person could be like breaking up with them. Okay. Like document exactly the, the devil reverse. So that could be happening. Okay. Especially these people are in a contract, that kind of thing that can unexpectedly happen uh we also have justice reverse this person could be doing something again with finances because I, I feel like it's something like think about um this person like say they're dating say they're living together say they're in a company together whatever this whoever this feminine energy is is like um i'm getting out of dodge out of dodge so i feel like right now they're cranking up the <laughs> they're cranking up the volume right now cranking it up cranking it up being super aggressive super mean this and that this and that hot and cold and then it's like they end up leaving this person high and dry like completely and it's like they've been planning it they've been planning it for a while yeah tempers reverse because they don't they they don't like what don't they like because i feel like this is interesting they stopped arguing with someone. They, so temperance reverse could be a lot of things, okay? It's toxicity. It's someone who's trying to 
control the other, someone who argues all the time. Temper three birds can also be someone who has some type of addiction issue or substance issue, something like that. And I feel like this person is trying to get to this person and keep like trying to tell them, hey, stop doing this. Hey, stop being toxic. Hey, stop. And they haven't. So again, I feel like this person, whoever this feminine third party person is, is like, First, they start fights with them and starts conflicts with conflict with them. Then they become silent and then they leave this person. And again, it's something like they either leave them or something with finances, something with documentation, that kind of thing. But it's going to like really uh, throw whoever, whoever this masculine energy is that did all these things to you. It's going to throw them off so bad. So how is the King of Cups going to take this? Sun reverse, Seven of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles reverse. So they're not going to take this very well. I feel like this person is going to be very sad, very depressed. But that is how the universe, God, higher power, whatever you believe in. This is how the energy balances out because justice is here, okay? Like I said, you're going to keep seeing. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Again, there, you're going to see... All these blessings and opportunities and new things coming forward towards you, celebrations, being happy, being in such a good energy. And what you don't see is that three of swords uh, at the bottom of the deck. Like these people end up kind of like going through it. But again, it's, it's like based on whatever was happening, whatever this person, this masculine energy, masculine energy did to you. But again, I feel like you're just in a space where you're moved on from the situation completely. But um, yeah, this person, whoever this masculine energy is it's like they they start to go downhill and more downhill and especially financially going downhill and it's going to be a lot of conflict a lot of fights a lot of just uncertainty and a lot of uncommon ground and a lot of you will see these people uh split up or stop working together or whatever the case is because the lovers here but who's going to lose in the situation the most that king of pentacles reversed a masculine energy so it kind of cycles all back some type of cycle of things that have happened to you at the hands of this masculine energy it's like uh, like i said over the next eight weeks i'm predicting something gets rebalanced out here so feel free to let me know your thoughts thank you guys so much for hitting the like button i'll do these collectives a lot more and uh thank you guys so much for watching